ಕಕ್ರತುಂಡಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭಂ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವೋಕ ವಿಷಜೇಭವರೋಗಿಧೇ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಸ್ವೂಪಿ ತ್ವಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತ ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಧೀತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವೈವಸ್ವಥಾಯ ಮೃತ್ಯವೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾಚಾರ್ಯ ನಚಿಕೇತಸೆ ಚ ದ್ವಿತೀಯಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ತೃತೀಯಾವಲ್ಲಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಮಂತ್ರ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎದಿದಂ ಕಿಂಚ ಜಗತ್ಸರ್ವಂಚಿ ನಿಸೃತ ಜಗತ್ಸರ್ವ ತೃತ ನಿರ್ಗತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತನ್ಮಹದ್ಭಯ 
वज्रम उद्यतम उद्यतम इव वज्रम उद्यतम इव वज्रम वज्रम यथा वज्रोद्यतकरम स्वामीनम यथा वज्रोद्यतकरम स्वामीनम स्वामीनम ई भूतम अभिमुखी भूतम दृष्टवा दृष्टवा धृत्या नियमेन तच्छासने वर्तन्ते भृत्याः निमेन तच्छासने वर्तन्ते वर्तन्ते तथेदम तथेदम चंद्र आदित्य ग्रह नक्षत्र तारकादि लक्षणम जगत्सेश्वरम चंद्र आदित्य ग्रह नक्षत्र तारकादि लक्षणम जगत्सेश्वरम नियमेन क्षणम अपि अविश्रांतम नियमेन क्षणम अपि अविश्रांतम वर्तते इति उक्तम भवति वर्तते इति उक्तम भवति यह एतद् विदुहु यह एतद् विदुहु विदुहु स्वात्म प्रवृत्ति साक्षी भूतम एकम स्वात्म प्रवृत्ति साक्षी भूतम एकम ब्रह्म ब्रह्म अमृता अमृता अमरण धर्मान अमरण धर्मान ते भवती We have seen this mantra of Bhakti Bhashyam. <clears throat> this mantra tells that the Srishta Jagat functions in an order. Brahma is the Nimitta Karanam, it is the Upadana Karanam. Brahma is the Karnam Upadana Karnam, the first mantra. I said, Uddha Moolaha Adasya Kahaiti. So here this, <clears throat> that Brahma, which is Upadana Karnam, it is also Nimitta, because you see the order. You see that Trishta Jagat, it is not a haphazard creation. It is not something which is randomly created and uh, the laws are also randomly functioning or random order. It is not like that. Everything functions in an orderly fashion. Because it functions in an orderly fashion, Therefore, we can infer there must be an intelligent cause. The Brahma must be an intelligent cause. Brahma is a Karanam that we have already said Shruti has already told that Brahma is the Karanam. Brahma is a Karanam for that Shruti is the only Pramanam. So we have uh, we have been made to understand that Brahma is the Karanam by the Shruti and that Karanam Brahma is, the Nimitta Karanam Brahma is, is intelligent, is an intelligent Karanam, intelligent cause. That intelligency can be inferred from the way the things function in the Jagat. It seems to be a well-planned Srishti. 
the design is made so so nicely and it is done so properly nothing nothing is uh, <clears throat> nothing is created or nothing is given without any purpose everything has got a purpose everything has got a place whatever is required for the sustenance of a being everything is given so because it is given everything is given there must be the giver the giver must be knowing what the the beings and the the beings and the jivas the universe require so it has given so the intention also is to sustain for sustenance whatever is required it is given for the birth of the jiva what is required that is also there so therefore there must be the intelligent cause even the srishti it is not according to the whims and fancies of the creator the creator brahma the srishti also is in keeping with the karma phala of the jiva the samashti karma phala of the jiva samashti papa punya of the jiva that decide the the pattern that design the model that design the the, the the that decide the design of the the jagat for the jiva to exhaust their papa punya there must be vishaya the objects in keeping with them in keeping with the the desires in keeping with their papa papa punyam papa papa as well as punyam so therefore the jivas and the the vishaya the objects they are created in keeping with the papa punya of the jiva therefore he must be knowing the papa punya so he is because he is a karma phala datha so he knows whom to give what karma phala what karma he has done that he knows and therefore what karma phala should be given that also he knows so therefore therefore he must be an intelligent being therefore therefore it is not something which has suddenly happened the creation is not a a sudden thing it has been well planned there is a beautiful structure the intelligent order behind the the jagat and that order itself is brahma therefore the nimitta karanam the nimitta karanam brahma is an intelligent karanam intelligent cause it is both the upadanam as well as the intelligent now because it is because it it is functions in an order therefore from the functioning of the universe in an orderly fashion we can infer this is another argument by which also we can establish that is we can infer the intelligent cause behind the srishta jagat because of the orderly function orderly function of the universe it functions in, in a perfect order so there must be a ruler there must be a a governing principle like a master like a swami in the presence of whom all the servants they function they work properly there is an order an organization functions when it is well managed by the head of the organization the the head frames the rules do's and don'ts and all the the workers they work obeying the the order similarly since the since the laws governing the universe and the therefore the devatas <coughs> who represent 
who preside over the laws, who preside over the laws, they must have a Swami, the ultimate Swami. That Swami is Ishwara Brahma. So, this way also we can infer. That is what the Shruti here in a figurative way presents. Vajram Udhyatam Iva as the master has got a, the weapon in his hand because of the fear of being punished. It is not really punishment. Because of the, the order is there, they obediently obey. They follow the order of the master. The master here is Bhagavan. So everything functions in an orderly fashion because the master presides over it. So that is what is presented in a figurative way here. And that functioning is because of fear. The Upanishad says it is not literally the fear. The, the, the fear is only to show that everything functions in an order. It means it must have a master. So the master is there. Bhagavan is there. Ishvara is there. He is a ruler. Ish means to rule. Varach is a pratya, krit pratya, Ishvara, the ruler. So the ruler is there. So because the ruler is there, therefore only the kingdom is stable. The kingdom functions. The kingdom is alive. The universe, the jagat is alive and functions properly in a well-disciplined way because of the because of the master, because of the Swami, because of Ishvara. So that functioning of the functioning of all the devatas, the functioning of all the the all the the forces in the creation is because of this ruler, this Ishvara. That obedient functioning is what is figuratively presented here as Bhayam. It is not literally Bhayam. That is the Upanishad presence in a figurative sense. Not only in this Upanishad, in Venitaitriya, we saw Veshas Matvatav Pavate Vishode Surya Iti. The idea is there in other Upanishads also. So Niyamena Pravartate Niyamena Vartate Tachasane. That is the idea. So knowing that man becomes Amrutaha. Muktaha, Vibhuktaha Bhavanti. Now, in the next mantra, the Upanishad says, How is that everything functions? How do you say that everything functions because of the fear that Upanishad says? We'll read. Katam tad bhaya jagat vartate iti aha. Katam tad bhaya jagat vartate iti aha. Katam au. Katam tad bhaya. Out of fear of that. That is Brahma, Ishvara, bhaya tad bhaya. Tad bhaya jagat vartate, pravartate functions. Iti aha. That is being said. Au di. Au di. The jagat. Jagat means. The, the, the laws which govern the, or the the laws which is functioning in an orderly fashion in the Srishta Jagat and all the jivas, every beings, they are they have to they are they are within the order. How that is how they how do they behave? How do they function out of fear of it? That is being said in this mantra. Yeah, the, the Upanishad gives some examples. Agni, Surya, Iti, some specific devatas are given. They function within the order. That is why we say everything functions within the order. 
to, to establish everything function in an order. We need not mention everything. A few mentioning is sufficient. That is what the Upanishads does here. Baya das Baya Dasya Gnistapati. Baya Dasya Gnistapati. Baya Tapati Surya. Baya Tapati Surya. Baya Dindraschava Yuscha. Baya Dindraschava Yuscha. Mrityur Dhavati Panchamaha. Mrityur Dhavati Panchamaha. Yes, Surya, Agnihi, Vayu, all are the, the Devatas. Yes, the Devatas are those which preside over the, the total faculty which the Jiva, the beings, enjoy at the individual level. Whatever the individual enjoy, like the, the power of seeing, the sight. And there is a, a a corresponding power at the total level, which is Suryaha. Similarly, all, all the Chakshu, Shotram, all the Indriyas, other Karmi Indriyas, other Prana, Antakarna, everything, everything has got a corresponding Devata at the total level. So that those are the presiding Devata. At the, when the presiding Devata themselves, they function in an order, orderly manner. What to talk about the Jiva? Who, sh who enjoy the who enjoy the total faculty in a limited way at the individual level. So they also must be functioning in an order. That is the idea. So all the devatas they function in an order because of the fear, out of fear, out of fear of the, the ruler of the jagat, who is that Ishwara. So, bayat, bayat, asya bayat, kasya bayat, bayam, bayam of this Ishvara, Ishvarasya, Parameshvarasya, Parameshvarasya bayat, agnihi tapati, agnihi fire burns, fire is hot, it is always hot, there is no cold fire. Wherever the fire is, fire is, whichever place the fire is, it is hot only. That is the order. So that is why we use fire for boiling. We use fire for cooking. Fire doesn't change its Swarupa. It is, Swarupa is, it is hot, means it is hot. Always it is. So therefore we say, it, don't touch the fire because it burns. It is not the problem of the fire. The fire does its job as it is supposed to do, as it has been designed to do, designed to, or as it, or as it been asked to function. That is the the functioning is called baya here, bayat. Agnihi tapati burns out of baya fear. It means it obeys functions in an order. Agni Devata functions in an orderly fashion, orderly manner. Tadvateva Surya Devata. Surya Bayat Tapati. So Surya Devata also does what is to be done because of the fear of Asya, Ishwarasya. Fear of Paramatma. Tadvateva Indraha. Indra Devata also, they all, he also functions bayat out of fear of Parameshwara, Parameshwara se bayat, Indraha, Indraha api, Vayu, Vayu api, Vayu also, Vayu also, Indraha api, Vayu api, Pravartate, Ishwara se bayat, Mrtihu Dhavati, here, Mr. Maharaja says, I myself, the death also, Dhavati moves around, runs around, remaining busy all the time. Mr. Maharaja, busy all the time. Because his job is to take away the life 
and send, take away the life of the jiva and send them to the appropriate loka based on their papa punya. So he's always busy, that functioning. is always busy, his functions in keeping with the, the order. Therefore, I also, Dhavati, Panchamaha Dhavati, the Panchamaha is referring to the Yama, Yama, Yama the fifth one, that is Mrityu, Devata, myself, Yamadama Raja. In the order, it is a fifth. The first one is Agni, second one is Surya, third one Indraha, fourth one Vayuhu, Panchamaha is fifth one. Fifth one, that is myself, Mrityu, Mrityu Devata, Agamapi, Dhavati, Bayat, Dhavati. I also follow the discipline. Discipline and function in keeping with the, the order, in keeping with the Ishvara Agnya. So, when everything functions in an orderly fashion, when everything functions out of fear of the Lord, we ought to talk about these Alpa Pranis, they also must be functioning in an order. Therefore, for the functioning of everything, there is an order. Everything has got a, a cause and, and therefore it is. There is always a karya karana. Samanda is there. A karya doesn't come without any karana. The birth of the jiva is not without karana. People ask generally, why did I take birth? It is not without karana. Karana is there, that is why janma is there. Without karana, no janma. And therefore, no maranam also. For maranam also, karanam is there. The karmapala, the prarabdha is exhausted. No karmapala left out. Therefore, time to vacate. So everything has got a karanam. The people whom he meet, the experience what you get, has got karanam. Nothing happens without any reason. There are reason. There are reason for things happening. So. The reason we may not understand, because we are limited. We are Alpagnyaha. The ruler knows. Because he is the overseer, he is a supervisor of everything, he knows. Because we don't know, and we have, we can, and, and also we infer there is an order, therefore, he surrendered to Ishvara. And accept that, the, accept the functioning of the order, and implicitly we also follow. So that is the, the Bhaya. We will read the Bhashyam. Bhayat Bhitya. Bhayat Bhitya. Bhitihi. Bhitihi is thrillinga. Bhayat Bhitya. Bhaya is pullinga. Bhaya Bhitya. Bhayat is equal to Bhityaha, it must be. Okay. This Panchami. This Panchami, therefore, Bayat Bhityaha. Bayat Bhityaha. It can be, sorry, or it can be. Tritya. It can be Tritya also, but Bhitya. It is Tritya, not Panchami, because the uh, that which is a source of fear can be Panchami. And Bhitya is. Tritya. It is Tritya Vibhakti. Bayat Bhitya. Baya is Pulinga and Bhiti also. Bhiti is Trilinga. It is derived from the same Dhatu, Bhi Dhatu, Nibi, Bhaye. By adding the Tin Pratya, another Krit Pratya is the Bhitihi. Like uh, Matihi, from Manda to Matihi, from Ramda to Ratihi. Similarly, Bhi Dhatu. Bhitihi, Bhiti Pratipadikam can be declined, like Mati Shabda, Ikaranta Shabda. So, Bhayat Bhitya. That Bhayat is Panchami, Apadana, Panchami. That which is a source or cause of fear will take fifth case. Dhruvam Apaye Apadanam. That is a Karaka Sutra. That from which 
a thing or moves away or it is drum apaye or apaye it is moves away or it is taken out it is called apadanam apaye it means moves away then the bhaya also will govern panchami apadanam apadana panchami so bhaya bhitya parameshwarasya ishwarasya kasya bhaya parameshwarasya paramascha so ishwaraha parameshwaraha tasya parameshwarasya so parameshwarasya bhaya out of the fear of the lord the ishwara is param ishwara he is the ultimate lord so parameshwarasya bhaya agnihitapati fire burns tap dakh dagati agnihi dagati tapati bhaya agnihi tapati then bhaya tapati suryah okay let us read i didn't i think we didn't read that parameshwarasya parameshwarasya agnihi tapati agnihi tapati bhaya tapati मृत्यु धावती पंचम मृत्यु धावती पंचम भाषकर जस्ट गिवन सेम वर्ड नॉट एक्सप्लेन बिकॉज इट इज स्पष्ट इट इज क्लियर सो नो भाषिम इज रिक्वर्ड so bhaya tapati surya ha surya bhagavan surya devata also tapati burns or shines out of bhaya tata indra ha vayu panchama ha mrityu api mrityu dhavati so out of fear bhitya bhaya asya parmeshwarasya agnihi tapati so bhagavan is the nimitta karanam so therefore agnihi tapati Surya ha tapati sun shines. Similarly, Indra, Indra had Indra is Indra Devata Varshati. He does the job of giving rain. So, the Varsha that Varshati, Vayuhu, Dhavati, Mrityuhu, Dhavati, Ti Panchamaha. Then the next line. How the Shruti says that all the Devatas function in an order, obeying the the laws. What is the reason? That being said. वज्रमुद्यत करवत वज्रोद्यत करवत उपपद्यतेशिकार there must be a ruler there must be a head then only the the workers will function so therefore what is the logic behind saying there must be a ruler that is said here ishwaranam ishwaranam that is lokapalanam ishwaranam the ad ishwara is ad ishvara lokapalanam ishvarana samarthanam satam this year this ishvaranam referring how many ishwaras are there how can it be bhagavachanam so therefore this ishvara here the word ishvara doesn't refer to brahma here it is referred to the adishtana devata ishvara is ekam brahma there must be one head there must be one ceo there can be many ceos also in some but here 
only one head, one CEO. So here Ishwarana means this Adishtana Devata. Loka Pala Nam. Samartha Nam Loka Pala Nam. They are Samartha, they are capable. They are very powerful. And Loka Pala Nam, they are the protector of the world because they function. Therefore, the universe, the, the Jagat is alive. Because they work in an orderly fashion, therefore only the universe is alive, functioning. And therefore the jivas are alive, functioning. Therefore, loka pala. Lokan pala yati. Therefore, they are the protector of the loka, all the lokas. Samaritanam being capable or powerful, satam. Niyanta yanta nasyat shed. So, Ishwaranam, Lokapalanam, Samarthanam, Satam, Niyanta, here Niyanta is Ishwara, Niyantru, Niyantru, Yam Datu, the new Pastor Gatrish Pratya, Niyantru, Niyanta, Niyantaro, Niyantara, if Niyanta, the ruler was not there, Niyanta, Nas, Syat, Chet, if the ruler was not there, then what will happen? Na should be connected. Na niyanta nasyat. Na syat. Niyanta nasyat chet. Ishwaranam lokap alanam. Samarthanam satam. Niyanta na chet. Then, then what happens? Niyata pravirti na upapatyate. There will not be niyata pravirti. The pravirti, the activities, the functioning, that will not be in be a regulated one that will not be a, a proper one an orderly one niyata pravritti na upapadyate there will not be pravritti there will not be functioning of there will not be functioning of the 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 creation the the jagat the last the last govern the last presenting over this if niyata is not there so therefore Therefore, we can infer there must be a niyanta because everything functions in an orderly way. Like what? Swami bhaya bhitanam eva brityana because of the fear of the Swami, the master. Because of the fear of the master, brityana, the servants, sevakana. Sevakas, they work because of the fear of the master. And the vajra udyata karavativa, even though the master here the master is Bhagavan Ishvara. He doesn't have Vajra Itam in his hand. Vajra, vajra Udyata Karavat. Udyate Kara Vajram Udyatam Kara Yesya Saha. Vajra Udyata Karavat Saha. But one with the raised thunder, thunderbolt like that. The, the master, if he has got the, the stick in his hand, all the servants they, they work properly. Only when the master with the raised this ayudam is there, then only you can see the regulated activities functioned or done by the servants. Similarly, here also, here also because there is a niyata pravati, from that we can infer there must be a niyanta. There must be a niyanta, must be there. So that can be in fact upapadyate. Upapadyate is tenable. This tenable to ten, tenable, therefore we can understand there must be a niyata. Upapadyate. Upapadyate padudatu upa upasarga padyate upapadyate. It can be known or it can be established or it can be. It, it is tenable that this niyata pravritti must be having a niyanta, a ruler. So without a ruler, there is no niyata pravritti. So therefore, therefore Paramatma is the is the nimitta karnam, is the intelligent, the, the, the principle which governs over the, the laws and therefore the, the Jagat. So that is the conclusion. Because of the function, because they function 
properly, perfectly. Therefore, we can infer Ishvara. So Shruti says, Shruti, by Yukti are trying to make us understand. Shruti itself already has said it is Jinimitta Kano Padana Kano, but gives a, a Yukti by which we can understand that there must be Ishvara. So Ishvara, the proof of Ishvara is this Jagat itself. We don't need any other proof to establish Ishvara. Ishvara is because the Jagat is, because there is a Niyata Pravirti in the Jagat. Therefore, Ishvara must be. It doesn't require any other proof. But this has to be understood. It, the, 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 the modern people or the scientists, they say everything functions that everything has got a, a science. The science also is an order. Because there is an order, therefore only science is. And who created the science? Who makes that loss functioning? That is Ishvara. So, therefore, therefore Ishvara is for that. This the functioning, the order, what you see in the Jagat, that itself is the proof. And moreover, Shruti also, being the Pramanam, already it has said. Continuing the next mantra. Tacha. Tacha. Igachet Ashakat Bodhum. Igachet Ashakat Bodhum. Rak Sharirasya. Sharirasya. It's a mistake. Sharirasya Vistrasaha. That is also. Rak Sharirasya Vishrasaha. Vistrasaha. Not Vistrasaha. That is also a mistake. Tatasarge Shulokeshu. Tatasarge Shulokeshu. Shari Ratvaya Kalpate. Shari Ratvaya Kalpate. First, this literally that the meaning of the words, then we can see the, the meaning of the mantra, the whole mantra. Iha, Iha meanings here. Iha, Chet Veno. If Ashakad Bodhum, the Ashakad is a Kriya Bodham, Ashak, it's a Lung Lakara. Shak, in Lak Lakara, we can convert that into Ashak, mean Ashak is Ashaknoti. Ashak Shaknoti. Bodham Shaknoti. Bodham Shaknoti. Bodham is to know. Capable of knowing. Bodham Shaknoti. Able to know. That is the meaning. Iha. Here, Prak Vistrasaha. Vistrasaha means fall. Vistrasaha is falling. Fall means what? Sharirasya, before the fall of the body. Prak, before the fall of the body. Before the fall of the body. Ashakad Bodhum, Iha. If a person, before the fall of the body, is able to know, then what? Iha chet ashakat bodham prak sharirasya vistrasaha. That part we have done. Before the fall of the body, if the person is able to know, bodham shaknoti. Iha here prak sharirasya vistrasaha. Before the fall of the body, if a person is able to know, then what will happen? That is given the second line. Tataha. Then, if you take it as then, Sargeshu Lokeshu Shariratvaya Kalpate. Lokeshu, Lokeshu means other Lokas, many Lokas are there, 14 Lokas are there. The 14 Lokas which are created, Sargeshu Lokeshu Shariratvaya Kalpate, they take other bodies. One becomes fit for taking another body. Now you see the complete meaning. If a person is able to know before the fall of the body here, then that person becomes kalpate, fit for, qualified for, shariratvaya, taking a shariram in the other lokas. That is the meaning. If you take literally the meaning of the mantra, if a person is able to know before the fall of the body, 
then the person becomes fit for assuming a body in the other lokas. Able to know what? Able to know this Brahma. So if a person knows Brahma, then he becomes qualified for getting another body in another loka. This is the literal meaning of the mantra. If you take the meaning, then, the, then whatever we have said so far, everything is dismissed. Knowing Brahma, one becomes free, one becomes vimuktaha, one, does, one crosses over this samsara, he becomes free from this samsara chakra. That is what we have been saying. Jnana teva muktihi, jnana teva kaivalyam, that is what we have been saying. Knowing Brahma, one becomes sarvajnaha, one becomes free from this the samsara from samsara bandha. Now here this mantra says, then how do we understand? So Bhashyakara does the job. He brings in some connection and makes the mantra very clear. So without Bhashyam, this mantra is very difficult to understand. The mantra looks simple. All the sim simple words. But the meaning is totally opposite to what we have been seeing so far. So, therefore, we have to, unless we supply some words, the meaning of the mantra will not be clear or it is wrongly understood. Now, we have to supply. Iha, asmin, iha is asmin Germany. In this, in this life itself, iha, in this Germany or in this Janma, ashakat bodham, if a person is able to know, capable of knowing, Sharira Siddhistrasaha, before the fall of the body, what we have to supply? If the person is, knows Brahma, if the person knows Brahma before the fall of the body, then what happens? Saha Vimuktaha Bhavati, we have to supply. Saha Tasikim Bhavati. Saha Vimuktaha Bhavati, he becomes free. If the person knows Brahma before the fall of the body, then what happens to the person? Saha samsara bandhanat vimuchyate. He becomes free from the samsara. He becomes free. That we have to supply. Tataha, then otherwise, if the person doesn't know, doesn't know Brahma, doesn't attempt to know Brahma, and if he gives up his body, that is otherwise. Then what happens to that person? Sargeshu lokeshu shariratvaya kalpate. He takes janma in the other lokas. It means his janma marana will continue. That is the meaning. Now the meaning is in keeping with our siddhanta, what we have been seeing. Knowing Brahma, one becomes free. Amritaha, Amarana Dharmaha Bhavanti Iti Visa, just in the previous mantra. In the previous, in the, in the second mantra, Yaha Yetat Viduhu, the Upanishad says, Yaha Yetat Viduhu, the second mantra you can see, Yaha Yetat Viduhu, Amritaha Te Bhavanti, the one who knows this Brahma, they become free, they become Amritaha, they become, they uh, become liberated, Amarana Dharmaha Bhavanti. And this mantra says, Tataha Sargeshi Loke Shri Kalpate. How do we connect? Connection is possible by supplying the words which are missing. Otherwise, both mantras are contradictory. Second mantra, the immediate, the, 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 the following the mantra, fourth mantra, both are contradictory. But there is no contradiction. How can should, That is why studying Shastra requires Guru Bhashyam. That is why it requires teaching to be taught. Otherwise, Upanishads, Upanishad mantras are full of contradictions, one may say. There is no contradiction. The contradictions are resolved by, by the Vashyakara. Because he knows, he has he knows the Tatparyam, he has a vision. So, in keeping with the vision, the Shruti words have to be 
interpreted what it means in fact even our words also we say something and later we say no it is not what i mean so it has to be made clear we give an interpretation we give if we give our bashyam to make the clear so maybe here also bashyakara makes it very clear so if a person doesn't know doesn't attempt to know brahma in this life or if the person knows brahma in this life he becomes free if he doesn't know or attempt to know then his his samsara will continue he will take janma again in the other loka so having got this the precious human life durlabham treme vaitat deva anugraha etukam manushyattvam mukshuttvam mahapurusha samshraya the three things are difficult to get manushyattvam jantu nam narajanma durlabah so that manushyattvam and the mukshu mudar mukshuttvam the tivra ichcha mukshu icha for knowing icha for knowing the knowing bhagavan that bhagavan can be known only through shastram gyanam therefore that becomes jignasa and mahapurusha samshaya that is possible only through the guru therefore these three things are very difficult if a person gets that it is the person is you can say is as is 50% free if th- these three things are there then the the then the end is taken care but if the person does having got this if the person has got human manushya janma and still if he doesn't strive for mum if mumuksha is not there if then one has to strive for it if, if this manushya janma is difficult having got this manushya janma out of many probabilities if the person doesn't attempt and what what is its life what is its life the life is vyartam eva labdha katanchin narajanma durlabham tatra api pumstam shruti para darshanam yasvatma muktai ayate eta moodadhihi sahyatmaha asvam vinihantya sat grihat viveka churamai shankaracharya says this durlabham manushya janma having taken if the person doesn't attempt na yate eta moodadhihi moodadihi asya saha moodadihi doesn't atmamukte if for the atmamukti the person doesn't attempt then what is it, what is his life saha atmaha is a killer of himself atmaha visa atmaha vritra vritraha similarly atmagnaha shabda is atmagna atmaha it becomes he becomes a killer of himself he is commits suicide he commits harakiri the person doesn't attempt na yateta chet so that is what is is presented here so therefore we know we have seen the the, the meaning of the mantra so iha sharirasya vistrasah prak ಶರೀರಸ್ಯ ವಿಸ್ತರಸ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ ಇಹ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬೋಧು ಶಕ್ನೋತಿ ಚೇತ್ ಸಹ ಸಂಸಾರ ಬಂಧನಾತ್ ವಿಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಟು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಅನ್ಯತ ಕಂ ಬಿ ಅನ್ಯತ ಸರ್ಗೇಶು ಲೋಕೇಶು ಶರೀರತ್ವಾಯ ಕಲ್ಪತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ ದರ್ಫೋರ್ you will continue to take janma so therefore gnanam become the hetu for moksha agnanam becomes the hetu for the samsara continued continuance so gnanat vimuchyate samsara bandhanat vimuchyate agnanat sargesh lokeshu sharirattvaya kalpate so that is the the meaning now we will read the <coughs> the vashyam ಇಹ ಜೀವನೇವೇವೇವೀವನೇವೀವನೇವೀವನೇವ 
ಶಕ್ತಾರ ಶಕ್ನೋತಿ ಶಕ್ತ ಸನ್ ಜಾತಿ ಶಕ್ನೋತಿ ಶಕ್ತ ಸನ್ ಜಾತಿ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಕೇಪಬಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಏತತ್ ಭಯ ಕಾರಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕರ್ಮ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವಿ ಸಾ ದಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಭಯ ಕಾರಣ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಶಿಕಾರ ಸೈಸ್ ಭಯ ಕಾರಣ ಇನ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಭಯ ಕಾರಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಭಯ ಕಾರಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬೋಧ ಅವಗಂತು ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಹ ಜೀವನ್ನೇವ ಅಶಕ್ತ ಶಕ್ನೋತಿ ಶಕ್ತ ಸನ್ ಜಾತಿ ಎತ್ತ ಭಯ ಕಾರಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬೋಧ ಅವಗಂತು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶರೀರ ವಿಸ್ತೃತ ಅವಸಂಸನಾತ್ ಪಥನಾತ್ ಸ್ರಂಸ್ ಧಾತು ಅವಸಂಸರಣಾತ್ ಪಂಚಮಿ ವಿತ್ ಅವ ಉಪಸ್ತರ್ಗ ಸ್ರಂಸ್ ಧಾತು ಲ್ಯುಟ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಅವಸಂಸನಾತ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪತನಾತ್ ಶರೀರ ಪತನಾತ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಸ್ತೃತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸಂಟೆಗ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಡಿಕಂಪೋಸ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಡಿಕಂಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ disintegrated before the body becomes weak so one if, when when one is physically strong mentally strong that time itself one has to make effort to know not the old age when the body is not strong when the mind is not strong so therefore avasramsanat patanat yah bodum avagantum shaknoti this bhaya karana brahma tasya kim bhavati samsara bandhana vimuchyate he becomes free from this samsara so he becomes free from jnanat saha saha brahma jnanat vimuchyate he becomes free if it doesn't happen then what next line nachet ashakat bodhum nachet ashakat bodhum tatah tatah anav bodhat ಪ್ರಾಣಿಯ ಶರೀರಭಾವಾಯ ಶರೀರ ಅಭಾವಾಯ ಶರೀರಭಾವಾಯ so na nachet if not what is the meaning of tatah tatah to be here tatah nachet ashakat 
bodum ashakat bodum not able to know the person is not able to know tataha then what will happen not not able to know anava bodhat bodhat anava bodhat anava bodhat ava bodhat na ava bodhat anava bodhat because of ignorance anava bodhat what will happen to this person the person is ignorant not knowledgeable anava bodhat saha kalpat kalpate kalpate for what kalpate samarthaha bhavati he becomes qualified he becomes fit for what sharirathvaya sharirabhavaya for for assuming the body he becomes fit for assuming a shariram shariram grinhati where where does it take the shariram lokeshu which loka lokas which are being created lokeshu different lokas the 14 lokas are there in keeping with the papa punya the karma phala he becomes fit for because papa phala means that means it agyani mandu or can be agyani so therefore anava bodhanat sariratvaya lokeshu kalpate samarthaka bhavati lokeshu and it is sargeshu lokeshu lokeshu the word is qualified by the word sargeshu the word sargeshu derived from this raj dhatu sraj becomes sarga with krit pratyaya vai pratyaya becomes sarga that is why sraj to create sargeshu means created here it is in this, the bhava artha that is it becomes fit in the in the in the in the, in, in the in, it can be ka, karma bhava it can be adhikarana and bashakara yet gives the vitpatti yujyate iti sarga that which is created is called sarga so karma vitpatti bashakara gives yujyate iti karma vitpatti and uh, adhikarana vitpatti also given yeshu yujyante yeshu te sarga the places in which they are created so srijyate iti sargaha is karma vitpatti and bashikar here gives the uh, adhikarana vitpatti srijyante yeshu that is the jivas are created the places in which they are created srashtavyaha srashtavyaha praninaha that is praninas which have to be srashtavyaha tavyat which are to be created the places in which the pranis are to be created or to be produced that is called sarga sargeshu saptami so so therefore here sarga is not in the sense of creation dhatu is sruj dhatu srujate iti sarga karmani vitpatti it means creation but here, but here it is an adhikarana vitpatti that is srujyante yeshu srashtavyah praninaha iti ಜೀವ ನೂತನ ಶರೀರಂ ಗೃಹಾತಿ ಗೈನ್ಸ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಬಾಡಿ ಸರಿ ಗೃಹಾತಿ ದೆನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಶರೀರ ವಿಂಸ್ರಣಾತ್ ಶರೀರ ವಿಂಸ್ರಮಾ ಶರೀರ ವಿಂಸ್ರಣಾತ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ ಶರೀರ ವಿಂಸ್ರಣಾತ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಬೋಧಾಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಬೋಧಾಯ ಯತ್ನಃ ಶರೀರಿ ಯತ್ನ ಅಸ್ತೇಯ ಆತ್ಮಬೋಧಾಯ ಆತ್ಮಬೋಧಾರ್ಥ ತತ್ವಬೋಧಾರ್ಥ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಹಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ 
in knowing Brahma before the fall of this body. That is the meaning. We will conclude here. Today, we will see the next mantra. Next class. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om Is that Bhimsra Sanat Ji? That one? Lastly? Shantatu. Vimsra Sanat, isn't it? Uh, yes, Vim. It's Vim. It's a mistake. Yes, I read Vimsra Sanat only. Yes. Okay. It is. Yes, it is that uh, Tasmat Sharira. That's what you're asking, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, tas, tasmat Sharira Vimsra Sanat. Vimsra Sanat, it is. Uh, it In is. the book also, it's given the same Vimsra Sanat only. No, yeah, Vimsra Sanat. Vistram Sanat, okay. Ah, Vistra. Vistram Sanat, yes. Vistram okay. Sanat, it is. Vistram Sanat. Okay. Vistram Sanat, yes. Okay. Sramsa is a Datu with V Upasarga. Okay. So, Sram Sanat with V Upasarga. Vistram Sanat, right? Okay, Vistram Sanat. Yeah, okay. because Datu itself is Srams Datu. The view Pasarga, then Vistramsa Panchami Vistram Sanat. Mm -hmm. okay. Did we read like correctly? <laughs> no, we read some Vistram Vistram Sanat something. We Vistram did that. Sanat is correct only. Okay. We read that anyway. Okay. You can correct it. Vistram okay. Sanat. Okay. Or Vim. Okay. It is Vistram. Okay. Vistram Sanat. Vasu okay. Sramsu Anudukam Dhaavan. Sutra also is a which that Sramsu Srams Datu. Datu is Sramsu. Aupadeshika Datu. Mm -hmm. That is Trams. Okay. Okay. Dhanyavada. 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 Dhanyavada.